pineapple, great, sweet, savoury, works either ways. And my barbecued pineapple makes a great dressing for lamb cutlets. So I've already barbecued the pineapple. If you want to know how to, just check out my other video. And I'm going to prepare my lamb cutlets. Always helps to have a bit of fat on your meat because that adds the flavour. So I've got these lovely cutlets. I'm just going to plonk them in my tray. And a little tip, take them out the fridge half an hour before you want to cook them. So they get to room temperature, just means they cook more evenly. A little bit of olive oil. Oi! <laughs> that went everywhere but in the tray. Just pour some on. And then just make sure the meat is coated. Sprinkle on some salt. So that's my lamb cutlets done. I'm just going to set them aside and because they cook fairly quickly, I'm going to make the vinaigrette now so it's all ready to go. Right, so I need about a quarter of a pineapple. Just going to trim off this and then just want to chop it up. It's very juicy this pineapple and it can be quite chunky. Don't be, uh, don't need to be too precise. Now this dressing, or vinaigrette, or I mean you could even call it a salsa, whatever you want to call it, goes really well with grilled halloumi, or with fish. So if you wanted, or chicken actually, if you wanted to, you could use something else instead of lamb. Right, pineapples chopped up. Now for a little bit of heat. Chili. Just take out the seeds or you can leave them in if you like it spicy. Chilies in. Pull off the leaves like so. Just slide down your fingers. So with this dressing, you've got the sweet from the pineapple, the spiciness from the chili, and a little bit of coolness from the mint. So it's a very exciting dressing. Lots going on. Scrunch up the leaves and then just run your knife through it. That goes in. Some salt. White wine vinegar. A couple of glugs. Olive oil. Give it a stir. So when you taste it, it should be quite um, punchy. It should be quite acidic because you're going to eat it with the lamb and I'm going to have a little bit of salad on the side. So don't be scared if it's a bit, you know, powerful in terms of dressing, but that's how you want it. All right, so that's done. Just going to grab one last thing out the fridge. Give your little gems a little rinse and then cut them into quarters. So, 
So you just cut them in half. So I've got these little gems. Just shake off the excess water. A little bit of olive oil. Great! Okay, to the barbecue we go. So I'm putting the meat in the middle where it's the warmest and then these little gem lettuce I'm putting on the side because they don't need such a strong heat. So a little tip is to have two sets of tongs. I have one for turning like the uncooked meat and then I have one at the end for when I want to take everything off and it's cooked. Also, <laughs> don't stand where the smoke is going. <laughs> I move away. These, these lamb cutlets shouldn't take that long. Um, I like to have mine a little bit pink in the middle. If you want them less pink, then just cook them a little bit longer. So just be careful when the fat starts to cook, it will flame up a little bit and it might spit, so watch out. <laughs> Dangerous stuff, cooking this. Okay. So the lamb cutlets are cooked. That took literally about six minutes or something like that. Um, and the little gems took a minute or so on each side. So just take your dressing and then ladle it on. Barbecued lamb cutlets, really easy with a fiery pineapple dressing, tasty. Don't forget to subscribe and like the video. Thanks.